Guys, what's going on? This is Adam Yerpe, and I want to give you a little, just small devotional today about opening portals in your life. Yeah, you know, we watch the, you know, the Marvel movies, and we see like Doctor Strange opening these portals with rings of fire and moving through these portals and dimensions. And I'm telling you, you are created as a spiritual being, and you have this ability to open portals in your life. And some of these portals. You, you, you need to understand that God tells us to set our mind on heavenly things. Well, and that we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. In fact, when Christ died and rose again, and we believe into that, we enter into faith and we step into a relationship with him, we come into um, these heavenly places, and these heavenly realms because of what he did for us. And so one of the ways to access these portals is understanding how these doors and portals open. And I want to talk to you about just one this morning, one portal. And that's the portal of obedience. And so as you grow with Holy Spirit, He empowers you to start walking out what you're reading in the Bible. He empowers you to be able to live a life that's so-called the Christian life. That, that, that's pleasing to God. Walking in a way where you're obeying His commandments, His statutes, the kingdom of heaven. Right? The same way people want to be born in America so they can have rights and, and live in this prosperity. And so it's the same thing with the kingdom of heaven. As you're born again, you're now born of that kingdom. And that kingdom brings certain rights and, 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 and blessings into your life because you are of that kingdom and not of this kingdom. And so understanding that, that there's ways of opening those portals of heaven into your life. And one of those ways, the first one we're going to talk about today is obedience. And obedience to the word of God is a, is a huge portal. This portal opens up in heaven. And when you can... Oh, uh, uh, come into an alignment with the Holy Spirit and the Word of God and start living a life of obedience, there is a portal that ha opens in heaven that brings a level of joy into your life. And, you know, the Bible says that uh, without works, it's impossible to please. I mean, without faith, the works is dead, right? And so, like, or, I got that wrong there. It's <laughs> I got two verses mixed up here in my head right now. But without faith, it's impossible to please God. And that... Uh, be a doer of the word of God and that your that your deeds should not just be words And so we're in this season where we're so tired of Christians and religion and just it's all talk and nobody's a doer of the word of God And so we have to really step into this level of actually being doing what God is saying and telling us to do in the Bible And doing things is like how we treat our body what we put into our body legal and a illegal things um, How we handle our finances uh, do we are we obedient with the giving? Are we obedient with um, spending time in, in the prayer, in worship, and these kinds of things? But obedience will open the doors of joy and peace to come into your life, guys. And so I always need more joy in my life because the Bible says that Nehemiah eight ten says that the joy of the Lord is my strength. And so as I want more joy in my life, it gives me more strength. And if you are obedient to the Word of God, you will literally see a portal of heaven open up and joy and peace come into your life like no other and in this day and age we need more joy and peace in our lives so i hope you guys can access that portal and open up those gates and those doors to open up in your life and that you'd experience more joy be blessed by the best tell me what you guys think about these this portal message uh have you experienced this uh in your own life have you seen these portals have you seen these blessings come into your life by being obedient to god's word god bless you today have a great one bye